Yo, what's up guys? This is Ray Mural here bringing you my part 6, second last part of my epic first place on the map Bootleg Hard. And I am still first as of November 25th. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded because I haven't uploaded 5 as I'm doing this commentary. Um, but yeah, but <laughs> the guys in second actually has wave 35 now but he has slightly less points than me so I don't have first for much longer but love love that um this is wave 30 to I think 34 that sounds about right 34 yeah maybe maybe I beat 34 and I need to pause and skip to the end, so too much work. And as you can see, I just had $40,000 until I bought a Sentry. Um, if you haven't seen any of these episodes yet... Oh, sorry, my headset fell off. Um, oh, sorry, I paused here and I didn't realize. Um, you can see the building I'm using it with the map right there. Uh, I normally use two sentries, one down there and one outside, helicopters bring them inside, and I always try and buy the riot shield squads, I forget which wave I start buying the riot shield guys, I think it was around 20 or something, because I had $50,000, so it really wasn't that big of a deal, and helicopters can't really get me, as long as I stay against the walls, because... They just can't. They just can't go down low enough on the map to get me. So this is a really good camping spot. And if I get juggernauts, so I have a rape train, which I'm pretty sure you'll see on the last wave that I do. He's the 32 and 33 are really short. Uh, pretty sure I beat 34 in this. Because this is 31, 32, 33. Yeah. I beat 34 and then 35 is where I lose and show you I'm ranked 1. <laughs> um, part 7 won't be really that interesting. It'll just be me losing with like 3 enemies left or something. Bullshit. As you can see, I am pretty much getting overrun. And I always try and camp and don't, don't shoot your turrets. You, you can destroy them. It's pretty gay. And helicopters do kind of destroy your uh, turrets pretty fast. And I'm pretty sure they also kill your rye shield guys. So, buying anything you know, during helicopters is pretty easy. You can see this is where I shoot them from. Now, my setup is striker and light machine gun. Now, I'm, I just recently got all of the light machine guns. I still haven't tried the last one. But you want like the L86 or something, the second last one. And according to my friend, the last one is also good. Because they have reloads where you don't need sleight of hand. And if you did, it'd just be ridiculously fast. And it's really your opinion. I like the striker, but by the way, I accidentally stopped recording there. That's why I just kind of skipped a bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm debating whether or not to buy the new light machine in here. I never did because it, I'm like, I need my money. If Because I, I, I would run out too fast spending 7000 on a weapon. Um, good thing about helicopters on this is that they just keep going around in circles and going right to that spot. So I get a little spray off them and then they run away. And I, if I crouch, then they can't get me, so it's a beast spot. I've seen people putting out tutorials for this map on how to get high rounds. Oh, and right here, I got so mad. I should have slowed it down, but I was spraying this fucking bastard through the ceiling and bullshit. I just could not get him. He kept finding different ways to get at me. This, like, this has got really annoying. He just kept going above me and I was spraying all my bullets at him. I don't think wall banging through a ceiling or ceiling banging shit works very well. At all for that matter, I don't know. So, uh, 
basically in the 30s on these hard maps, you're going to have helicopters, enemies, explosive enemies, juggernauts. That's where I died. So yeah. <laughs> That's, that, that's where I died. No. Actually, I'm not even sure. Um, I'm looking at uh, where I cut the video to crop it or whatever. I'm not sure where I'm at. And also, uh, the enemies are seem like the mini juggernauts is what I call them. Uh, my, the turrets don't really do a lot, therefore you really want that squad shit. I think it's every other way you get helicopters or juggernauts. Again I paused. Oh, that, that, that's why I cut there. Okay. Mm, yeah. The only problem is, helicopters, you gotta kill all the enemies pretty fast, or at least camp like I do on any map. Insane hard, normal, easy, regular, whatever the hell they are. Enemies, you just gotta... You have to have these dry ship guys. There's just too many of them. And um, you want to be buying ammo every single wave. And also, if you know that one of your turrets are down and you have ride shield guys, you might want to uh, leave a second earlier. As you can see, I kind of took way too long. And even when there's juggernauts, it's really up to you whether or not you leave your turrets there or not. Because, I don't know. And this is my example of Rage Train from Zombies in World at War and uh, Black Ops. Uh, I'm now doing Rape Trains in uh, Survival Mode in uh, Modern Warfare. So I was kind of surprised. I did do this on a lot earlier waves. And if you want to see the previous episodes to this, I should have mentioned that at the beginning. You can probably check my channel in the, probably the last episode. This, if you're seeing this day of release, then you're probably gonna wait two or three days. It really depends if I get if I remember to upload before I go to bed. Because I hate uploading during the day, ruining my connection. I don't know why I get one bar connection when I upload, but that's just how it is. Now I did, I am speeding it up a lot if you haven't really noticed, because there's juggernauts and I, I'm, sadly you can't see it, but the juggernauts are actually sprinting at me. So I got really annoyed here. You, like you gotta buy like 12 or 8 flash grenades, because they, they just come fast. You always want to try and get those corners and try and mow down the weak guys, otherwise you're just gonna get done. I don't even know what that means, you're just gonna get done. What am I saying? Another good reason to leave the turrets up is an example right there, because they just killed those three enemies. So that was, that was good. Because normally they don't all spawn at the same time, once there's so many enemies on these high waves. They'll start spawning out, and if you're in a rape train, they're gonna spawn in front of you. Yeah! These normally they don't spawn on top of each other, so then it's like six versus you when you run into them. Normally that happens when you kind of accidentally do a rape train. And also don't forget that you got you do have grenades like I just used. And I just killed something with a grenade, so that's awesome. The good thing about this map is that when you're doing the rape train. You run into grenades, uh, quick revive, flashbangs, whatever's at the gr grenade box. And you can really cut in any time during your rape train and buy ammo, then run back out and continue. Except right here I kind of messed up because uh, I chose the bad entrance to go get ammo. And they almost got me. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it, but they are moving pretty goddamn fast. I do not recommend using the striker when there's three. So, for some people, you may want two light machine guns, so then you wouldn't have to reload, maybe. 
But that's just because I'm using extreme conditioning. And also, I'm not entirely sure, but I think the longer, I mean, the weaker they are, um, the faster they run, because they got really fucking fast. And also, when you're doing this rape train, try not run your, your juggernauts near uh, your turrets, because they will destroy them pretty fast. They're like helicopters, but on ground. That guy was almost dead, so I, I just had to get rid of him. But anyways, guys, I will see you next time on part 7 of the finale where I lose... And I am rank one. Well, I was rank one in like episode four or five. But anyways, uh, peace out.